everybody this is your boy justin kicks coming at you with a new episode this is a new installment of real heat or hype beast and uh this week jordan brand has another release dropping another week another jordan this week we're going to be taking a quick look at the jordan air jordan 6 k54 uh it just popped up on the sneaker app and uh the funny thing about this is there was already has been one that released um, overseas that has a different colorway. Uh, but I have seen some people doing some review on that one already. Uh, this one uh, drops this Saturday, uh, K54. Um, I got to be honest with you, I didn't know much about it. And I've never had a Jordan brand K54 of any model. What I did find out is, is that the K54 is a tournament, a basketball tournament. Um, as you remember, when I did the review on the uh, Air Force Ones for New York versus New York and for the Drew League, the New York New York versus New York uh, tournament had been canceled because of the COVID. Same thing with this. Uh, the, the K54 tournament has been canceled this year, uh, but Jordan Brand is still going forward with the release of the sneaker. Uh, basically, what I found out in my research is the K54 tournament was started in 2003 by two gentlemen um, who had a love for basketball. And once I dug a little further, you find out that um, actually one of the gentlemen uh, had been in New York maybe 14 years before that and was it happened to be in new york in the summertime when the rucker basketball tournament and league was going on and fell in love with it and uh in 2003 where this tournament takes place there was a new basketball court built uh for the public um and he just come up with the idea to bring what he had saw at rucker park and they started a basketball tournament the first year they had like 1500 people they were extremely happy with it. Jordan Brand found out about it, and Jordan Brand started sponsoring the tournament from that point on. So every year, Jordan does uh, provides all the gear for the tournament, and it's it's taken on a whole life of its own. It's extremely huge now, and again, something I was not I, I knew they had put out sneakers in the past for this, but I really didn't know the history of what it was for. Um, if you look back over the sneakers that have been released for the K54, there are some some people's grails are the K54. You have the K54 Retro 5 that had a friends and family that released. You had the Retro 3 that had a friends and family, and then one that was released to the public. And to see these sneakers, you go to StockX or any resale place, these sneakers go for tons, tons of money. Tons of money. And they actually look good. I, now, all of my... I'm, didn't don't really like but there's some that that look really good but again back to this tournament so it's a tournament that takes place every and every year jordan sponsors it puts up a new gear for it and releases sneakers uh based around the k54 concept uh so this year jordan is releasing and like i said there's actually two versions because one version already released that had like a brown cloth um, and what I found in that, it's a West African uh, uh, print that has a lot of meaning in West Africa. And it had a brown colorway to it for the one it already released. The one that's going to be releasing this week, uh, Saturday on the sneaker app here in America, it has like a purple color to it. The same kind of design, but has a purple colorway. And, you know, you can kind of look. I saw some videos talking about it and looked up the history of this print. It has a lot of protective qualities within this West African area. It has a lot of history and, and, and value to that community. Uh, I don't want to get into specifics of it because I know I'll get something wrong on it. But you definitely can go and check it out because it does have a lot of meaning uh, in the West African area. And that is the print that's being used on this year's version, the Air Jordan uh, Retro 6. Um, to me, um, I, I, again, you know, I love when a sneaker has any kind of history or story. I like the story behind this K54 basketball tournament and the, the guys that started it. Um, they, they just, like I said, had a love for basketball. Luckily, it worked out. Jordan Brand jumped on and it has taken on, like I said, a life of its own and grows and grows every year. I unfortunately have never been able to get my hands on a K54 shoe or really try to get my hands on a K54 shoe. And with that being said, you know, this is real heat or hype beast. Um, I like the look of this Jordan 6. Um, I like the print and the purple colorway on this Jordan 6. Um, 
but honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that the K54 is associated with it, I'm not sure of how popular this sneaker would be. After trying to find out about the print and finding the history of it, it, it is it is a good story. It does have uh, it does get kind of in depth on where that print comes from and the reason that they used it. So I can't say that this was just an easy shoe for them to do or anything like that. I do think they put some thought into the shoe, but again, because it's a K54, I think some people will go after it for the the fact that they think it may have some resale. Um, um, but at the time, it doesn't have a ton of resale uh, on StockX or any of that stuff right now. So you just never know with this kind of shoe what it's going to do. But when it comes down to real heat or hype beast, I'm going to have to throw the hype beast on this one. I hate to do it, but the fact is, if it wasn't a K54, I'm not sure anybody would be talking about this shoe. And the, the design on the shoe, even though I like the meaning behind it and where it comes from, it's not necessarily a shoe that you're going to wear every day. You know, it's not a shoe that just goes with everything. And I think you'd have to kind of work to find, uh, unless you just go with the plain black tee or plain white tee or something like that. There's a lot of colors in it. It's, it's different. It's not something you see every day. And I truly think that it would be something that a lot of people may may not even look at or want if it wasn't for the fact that it was a k54 uh so i gotta give this i, I hate to do it but, but i really think this is a hype b shoe i don't think that people will be going after this because they love it or think it's real heat they'll be going after it because they think it may have some resale value or the fact that it's got the k54 name associated with it uh, but other than that, I can't see a lot of people that just was like, oh, man, this shoe's great and I really want it. Again, not an ugly shoe in any way, but just not a shoe that is an everyday normal shoe. Now, that's not saying a lot because a lot of things that come out these days, if you think about uh, some of the Kanye's that drop, some of the um, Fear of God that drop, some stuff that, you know, me with my age never thought would be a popular style of shoe anything sells these days so again if you're a jordan 6 fan and, and you love jordan 6s you're probably going to be on this one but outside of that i, I think you're really only going to have to go after it because you're hype beast it's not a shoe that i'm going to try to get not a shoe that i feel like i need or want in the collection I, honestly if i had it i would not wear it I, I know for a fact i wouldn't wear this shoe it's not a shoe that i I don't wear a ton of sixes anyway. And then the fact that it has this uh, design on it that's not not an everyday design and it's kind of going to be hard to match with what you're going to wear with it. I just don't see it being a desirable shoe for myself. Now, let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if it's a shoe that you think you're going to go after. Uh, again, to me, I think the majority of people is going to go after it because it has the K54 name associated with it. And I mean, if that's the case, it's not a bad thing. Like I said, when I read the story about these gentlemen that started the tournament and their background and their love for basketball, that's that in itself is enough to some people may want to get the shoe. I love a shoe that has a story that goes along with it. And then when you look up what this print means on this shoe, uh, that's a great story as well. But again, for me, it's going to be a pass. Um, I picked up a lot of shoes here lately. This is not one that I have to have. And it may be tough to get anyway. It's going to be on sneakers. I don't see it coming out anywhere else. So the shoe releases this Saturday. The retail on it is $200. Uh, sneakers app is where I've seen it releasing as of right now. I'm not sure how many other places, if any, will have it. I know it's going to be limited. I know it's going to sell out. That does not always mean that it's a real heat sneaker. To me, that, that's just another reason why this, to me, is a hype beast sneaker because I just don't see the love for it. I don't see the love for it. I know it has a great storyline, like I said before. Um, it, it, your Jordan 6 fan, I understand it all day. But again, let me know what you think. Uh, before I get out of here, I just want to again thank everybody that's been rolling with the channel. Everybody's been subscribing. Uh, let me um, let me know what you think about this sneaker. Let me know what you think about any upcoming releases that you got an eye out for. I've got a few that I'm hoping to pick up on this week, but I wanted to do this shoe because to me, when I first saw it, Hype Beast is the first thing that came to my mind with the K54. But anyway, this is Justin Kicks. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, stay locked. Next big giveaway is coming to 1,500 subscribers. Uh, I'm going to get out here and holler at you next time, man. Peace.